Okay, I'm going to give you guys a short tutorial on how I got the Digu BB M1 to work for me. The first thing is, is it gives you a little QR code um, to upload the app. Do not use it. It says um, ICC and that program does not work for this camera. You want the ICC Pro and all of this information I'll put it right down at the bottom. Um, and the other thing is, is um, that's the ICC Pro. That's for your phone. Now to view it on a computer, um, on the back it shows you uh, www.xmi.net. Do not use that either because that website is gone. The server is down. I've got another program called CMS. I'll lead you on to that link down in the bottom again. Um, and then a lot of guys say, oh, I got it powered up and about an hour later it doesn't work anymore because by a lot of tutorials on YouTube it shows that you plug it into a computer okay and what happens is is about an hour after you got it in the computer you walk away from the computer the p computer goes to sleep and it and it shuts off the power to the UB, uh, USB ports you can't power these from a computer guys you got to use one of these it's a micro USB um, 5 volt DC power supply again the computer ports will go to sleep and that will make it act as if it went offline so guys don't power these by the computer power them by a power brick which is a micro USB 5 volts All right. so now um, the first thing you want to do is um, I'm going to show you on how it works on the phone right now I have got uh, let me just go in here, uh, right here, IC Pro, okay? So I'll go log in, and then that, that was a video I did, not a video, but a, uh, uh, let's see, let's go back in here again. So um, that is just a screenshot of what I was viewing before, so you just hit the little arrow and it says device is offline that's because I have it unplugged so I just go ahead and plug it in now guys a lot of people think oh it's good it, it's still not working it's still I got it plugged in it's not working you gotta wait wait till it gets fully powered up and gets back on your net you know you know get the internet um, so while we're waiting for that is uh, I've already got this set up but once you get IC Pro just follow it exactly what it says and you'll have no problem. The other thing is, is don't try to put this on a DSL internet. Up. Nope. Please yep, she says she's... And it says connected to the router successfully. It says um, powering up, connected to the router successfully. But again, back to this. Do not use DSL because this camera will crush the DSL and the DSL is not fast enough for cameras. You can't stream video over DSL. You just can't do it. Um, so just follow this. Iota, Iota, whatever it says on there, just follow it. It's, it, it works perfectly. So now she says she's online, so I hit it again. Uh, still says offline. Hang on one second. Let's go to, I'm gonna log out. And I'll log back in. Local login. And then I'll hit this. And here we go. There it is. Alright. Now, if you watch this here, it, it pan, tilt, zoom. And it goes this way. You can go this way. Keep going. It can go up. It can come back over and it'll look right at the camera. Oh, where's the camera? This way. Yeah, there's the camera. Alright. Go up. Go down. It works perfectly. And when it's plugged into the wall with one of those power bricks, 
it won't go offline again like it does if you have it you know hooked up to the computer so don't hook this to a computer guys it won't work all right so that's it for the phone again ic pro once you get it just follow it exactly what it says and you'll have no problem okay so again it's ic pro not ic like it says in the instructions now let's go to viewing it on your computer again don't use the website that it has in the manual again i, I will get you the right uh, website down at the bottom it's called cms so let me set you up over here all right so i got my cms right up here and i'll click on it i'll click it i'll click on it and of course my computer is acting up now there we go so yep cms ex, ex, uh, super i have no password in it this loads up and then now to add a camera you go over here to system uh, the device list is empty add a device yeah, and it just tells you what to do. So you go to system, go up here to device manager, click on zone list, uh, add an area. So what you want to do is you want to say camera one. Oops. Oh, come on. Camera one, just say okay. Um, now you click on camera one and high well not click on it but highlight it and then and add device lights up okay and then you go all you have to do is just you don't do anything just hit ip search now it's searching around it's trying to find a camera there it is it found it so yeah you, you highlight it 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 auto populates everything you need you just put in the password. The password is where it was created when you put it into IC Pro. The, so that's where you input a password to your camera. So I'll put in the password. I say OK. And there it is. Your camera is shown up here. So you just hit OK again. You come up here and now it shows up in the device list. You double click it. Oops, uh, camera shows up. Just double click it. Oops. Sorry, guys. And there it is. All right, so let me back out a little bit and we'll play around with it. So you double click on the picture, brings it up full screen. And then right over here is your pan tilt zoom. And that's it and you notice how it was grainy then it came back and grainy and come back that's just it's just trying to get out on the internet and uh, like I said you can't run this on DSL you got to have high-speed broadband uh, cable that's pretty much it guys um, any questions leave them down below and I'll see if I can answer it for you um, Oh, just one other thing on the reset on this. I've seen guys, they just take a pencil and they just they just touch the reset and say, See, see, nothing happening. See, nothing happening. Again, I looked at the, com at the video. For one thing, he's got it plugged into a computer. The computer's probably asleep. And the other thing is, is when you punch the reset on one of these things, press and hold it until it says, Reset in progress, do not unplug. And then you let it go. And then at the end of that, it'll say, yep, I am now factory new. And you can start all over again. Um, again, any questions, guys, just leave them down at the bottom. Thanks.